Okay guys, welcome back to Florida Keys Life. I'm Jason, if you haven't been here before, but um, today is going to be a short little episode. I'm getting the boat ready uh, to go out fishing tomorrow, uh, taking a family out of some friends of ours. I'm going to try to hit some wahoo, tuna, maybe find a mahi or two, and then drop some wrecks. Uh, but anyways, as I'm prepping the boat, I'm reminded of the upgrades that I've made to the boat. And I, I know I mentioned it before that I would I would show you those things, so I want to show you so... I don't know if anybody ever else is going to buy another Stingray 273, but it's certainly applicable to other boats. Uh, it has a, especially a, a dual-purpose boat like this, a family-slash-fishing boat. Um, you don't get the best of either world, but you have the, the functions of both. And so I made some upgrades. Uh, I use the boat 80% of the time for fishing. And so I made some upgrades to that, so I just want to walk through and show you those things. So we're going to start with these fishing upgrades over here. So the, one of the first things I did was install this uh, gaff holder here. So Stingray didn't have, really have a place to put the gaff. And so this is on Boat Outfitters. I'll put a link in the description of what I bought. I had I recorded a whole video of installing it, but it's kind of boring. It's basically just installing screws. I guess in the comments, you really want to see the video of installing it. Let me know. Uh, but anyway, screwed right to the hard top. This hard top's really thick. It's over over an inch thick fiberglass, and it makes it really easy to remove this gaff. You just pull it out, and then the mechanism up here, you just slide it forward, and it comes right out. To put it back, it's a two-hand operation, so I'm not going to do it with the camera, but super easy to do. It gets the gaff up and out of the way and uh, makes it easy. So that was upgrade one. Upgrade two, I bought some similar brackets from Boat Outfitters to put the net possibly on the other side. Didn't quite fit right, but Stingray gives us these nice grab handles here. Uh, and so this works really well. I've just got a, a bungee over here on this side, and the net fits up there, doesn't get in the way, stays out of the way, doesn't move around a bunch. I've been out in like four to six footers, doesn't shift, and it's easy to grab. When I need it, just undo the one thing and it pulls right out. So I uh, did that. Uh, the next thing I did was fishing storage was relatively minimal. They give you from the factory this one storage compartment. I've got some stuff reorganizing my fish and stuff, but there's two 3600 Plano boxes fitting there. Well, that ain't enough. So they give you this compartment that I know I showed on the walkthrough, but these Plano boxes here, I had to find the right size. 3600s don't fit here. It's six inches deep here. These are the 3400 series. Plano boxes, which makes it really nice for the storage, and I actually got like 80% of the fishing gear in one of these little 3400s as I had in the 3600. So you stack all, I can get six of those in here, everything's right there, and with the cushion on, this lays flat, you have the cushion for whatever reason, but then you get all your tackle right here, that bud rod holder, some extra line, uh, but that worked really good uh, to put that in there. Next was storing uh, leader. And line as you know when you're fishing you often swap out your leader if it gets frayed or fish bites it or whatever and so this little device is made out of starboard and uh, it's on boat outfitters i'll also put it in the link but it just it screwed right to this it comes with a suction cup thing it doesn't stick very good so i screwed it 5200 and round to the uh, the back of the the helm seat here and uh, i can put two different leaders you can get them where they're thicker, but then it sticks out. Two's fine. I keep a, uh, let's see, what do I keep? An 80 and a 50 on here when I'm doing big stuff, and then I can put 20s. But these styles of leader holders you can get all over the place, different companies. Maybe this is Andy uh, Mono, but you can get Andy Floro, fluorocarbon, and all the different leaders. But doesn't really take away from the style or look of the boat, but makes it a lot more functional for fishing. Uh, and the last upgrade I did was here in the beer builds compartment. So they give you a big builds compartment. You've seen this in the walkthrough. you got your filters right there, those are your live well pumps, fresh water tank. Uh, but from the factory, this is just a, it's just an open bilge. Uh, and there's water down there. This is by no means a dry bilge. That's pretty much fresh water from hosing it down or rain. Um, and so it, you can't store a whole lot of stuff down here. So what I did was I measured this all out and that's uh, 3 8 starboard black starboard let's get it from Home Depot uh, and cut that to the right dimension it actually I was gonna try to 
5200 it in place. You obviously can't screw it because it's in the hole, but you see it's just laying there. And then I have a T piece of 3 8 starboard in the center. That's the right dimension to keep that level. And then it's just screwed, just T butt screwed to the starboard to hold that in place. And it is really sturdy. I can stand on it. You can see I'm 200 pounds and uh, I can stand on it just fine. But what that allows for me to do is to fit these two milk crates side by side. They fit perfectly in that space. And so I keep a bucket with a cast net in one and various supplies and my other fishing stuff right down there in the bilge. It's easy access from the cockpit uh, to get to and makes yourself some good access there. I know that I've said this before uh, a million times, but, uh, well, not a million times to you guys, but maybe to my kids, but I want to really drive home another point that um, when you're the, the, in the Florida Keys, you, you only have so much land, right? That's one thing we learned coming down here. We love the land stuff to do, which you see my Key West videos and different things, but the bulk of the things to do is in the water by boat. And if you want to do stuff in the water by boat, you got to take care of your boat. And you got to organize your boat, know what you're doing with it. So uh, everybody, everybody always laughs about the bring on another thousand thing. But really, if you know what you're doing and can do your own stuff and be functional, it doesn't have to cost a million dollars. Uh, so these upgrades were pretty basic and simple. Didn't cost me a ton of money, uh, but they make the boat a lot more safe and usable especially with the gaff and the extra storage you get in the build. So anyhow, please like and subscribe. We appreciate you and all that you do. And have a good day.